So my name is Dion Cannon. Uh, I double major in professional communication and emerging media with a concentration in digital humanities. And my second major was positive social science, concentration in history and politics with a minor in peace studies. And I'm student body president of SSA. Uh, I've been a part of SSA for two years now. My name is Christopher Johnson. I am the vice president of the South Student Association and I am a history and politics major in the applied social science program. Let's see, I've been a part of SSA since last not this past, but the one before October. So it's been about a year and a half-ish. The Stout Student Association is the student government of the University of Wisconsin Stout. Um, we get our direct power from Wisconsin State Statute 36095, which gives the students rights to organize themselves as they deem fit and also advise the chancellors on I issues that's important to the student government and students, so student life, student services, and other issues that may come up. We oversee a lot of student interests here on campus. We oversee all of our student organizations, so all of our club activities and that sort of thing. We also deal with um, communicating student voices to higher administration, to UW system administration, and also just dealing with on-campus issues that relate to our students. Yeah, so we have three branches um, of government. We have the executive branch, um, which is the president and the vice president. We have the legis legislative branch, which is the directors and all of our senators. And then we have the judicial branch, which is um, university court. So SSA impacts the students a lot more um, than what I thought before I came to Stout, um, and even when I got here and I, before I got involved. Um, we control uh, a lot of daily activities. We have a hand in pretty much anything that happens with student life here on campus. So from your dining services to your housing plans and all that sort of fun stuff to your first year experience and orientation to the laptop services you use to everyday student services like the Involvement Center and the Multicultural Student Services here. We try and help advise those things to make sure that they are optimized to our students and to make sure that they benefit our students and can help them in their time here at campus. Uh, we allocate um, segregated fees to all of our student organizations, so a lot of events that you get in for free um, is the directly funded usually by the SSA um, through the processes of your segregated fees that you pay for. Um, along with that, we also do a lot of other initiatives, make our campus a lot more green through the green fee. Um, and we also approve all of our student organizations, so we have over 100, I believe, so far. Um, and pretty much help get students um, to organize that. Um, as far as other impacts, we do um, solar panels, which is one of the great initiatives that SSA does, um, on top of more price comments. Um, we also just did the referendum um, in the 49th Congress, um, which renovates our sports and rec complex. So, quite a few impacts for our daily students. I believe it is important for students to self-govern because we have a lot of good ideas and they need to be heard. And if we don't get our voices out there and make sure that they're heard, things that we want may never get done. So us as students, we need to band together and we need to make sure that our voices are heard by those who are in charge of us, that being the administration here on campus mostly. But we've got a lot of good ideas here as students and we shouldn't be discounted just because we are students. So self-government um, uh, directly uh, with autonomy. Um, when we don't have self-government, uh, we don't have control of our own voices um, and the resources that we help provide to Stout. Um, allocating um, segregated fees give us the right to uh, allocate what we think is best via um, state policy and things like that. But also we know uh, if it's run by students, it will always be for students. So we always keep students in mind in all of our activities because you have to be a student to be a part of SSA. So um, that help us give the best choice. Um, and a lot of the things we do usually benefits every single student because we're self-governed. So we have the right with the state statute 36095 to organize ourselves in a manner that we see fit to help advise the chancellor and higher administration on all things dealing with student life. We're gonna damn well use it. <laughs>